How many of you had a cup of coffee or tea at some point today? Most of you. How many of you never uh, drink any form of caffeine or eat any form of caffeine? So no chocolate either? <laughs> right. Um, so, uh, so again, how many of you never consume any form of caffeine? No chocolate, really? All right. I bet we could find some caffeine in your diet and somewhere, but in any event, um, why are we okay with the vast majority of you using a stimulant every day of your life? When did we come as a society to think that that's a permissible form of cognition, cognitive enhancement where this fellow in the front row um, either doesn't like it or can't tolerate it or for whatever reason, he's not enhancing his brain the way the rest of you are. When did we come to embrace that as something that was permissible and good to do? And is there any difference between us all having a cup of coffee versus zapping our brains? Is it really just the same thing? Is it all just on a kind of gradient of what we consider to be permissible versus impermissible use? Well, we know at least in one context that we're not okay with certain forms of enhancement, right? So if you pay to go to a sporting event, what you're paying for is seeing natural honed talent, whatever that might mean, right? It is a person who has some sort of natural gifts that has worked hard to improve their gifts, um, and therefore they're a great cyclist as opposed to one who is a doped up cyclist, or they're a great pitcher, or they're a great batter, or they can dunk a basketball. Um, whatever they can do, they can do without taking steroids and without taking drugs and without doing things that artificially enhance, okay? And we've come to decide that that's what we wanna celebrate. Okay, that's what sports are about. Just like we all celebrate baseball and we're not that excited when we discover that our baseball pitchers are actually doping or our baseball batters are doping so the home runs aren't as exciting, we could decide otherwise. As a society, we could come to think, actually, instead of watching baseball, we wanna watch baseball. And baseball is a league in which everybody dopes. Okay, and it turns out all they do is hit home runs. And I bet if we put it out there and you all got to decide, do you want to buy tickets to baseball or do you want to buy tickets to baseball, market forces would help us decide which league should actually exist. And in fact, we have something sort of like that. Um, what's the wrestling, you know, worldwide, what, whatever that one is. That's not real. It's not real. I, I'm sorry to break it all to you. Yeah, we're learning something. Yeah, yeah, it's not real. But nevertheless, people still pay big money to watch those sporting events.